Hello, I'm Jimmy Ellison. I'm the pastor here at Providence, and I'm glad that you're here on this special Sunday, Celebration Sunday, as we celebrate 11 years as a church family. This afternoon, beginning at 4 o'clock, we've got a special time for our children. We've got kids' activities with a covered dish at 5 o'clock, and then a program following the covered dish. I hope that you'll come with your family, bring that pan filled with food as we, as we celebrate all God has done. In the next few moments, you're going to see a short video sharing the story, the Providence story, of what God has done through this church family over the last 11 years. Thanks again for being part of this special day. I'm just catching up on the latest college football, all that's happening this season. Why? Uh, have you forgotten something? Forgotten? Mm, no, this is our 10th anniversary. Providence turns 10 years old this week, and how, how could I forget that? It all started in the summer of 1995 with eight couples meeting in a living room in Peachtree City. None of us had ever been part of a new church start, however, we all felt that we were going to be part of something big God was going to do. During those first several weeks, we dreamed, we brainstormed, and most importantly, we prayed as we laid the groundwork for the new United Methodist Church in Fayette County. At that time, we didn't even have a name. All we had was a vision for a church that would help families with children grow in their faith. In preparation for our first worship service, the first thing we did was to find a place to meet. We were able to secure Braylon Elementary as our meeting place. We met in the gym, and although the acoustics were terrible, the yellow gym floor was beautiful. I'll never forget that yellow floor. We had to purchase or borrow everything a new church needs. Chairs, a piano, sound system, baby cribs, baby toys, baby changing stations, we had our share of children. and We had to have a place to store everything, so we bought a 1973 GMC truck. The church paid $1,800 for the truck, and over the next three years, we invested close to $5,000 in it. We were finally ready for our first worship service, which was planned for the first Sunday following Labor Day. I had sent a mass mailing to most of Fayette County announcing the start of the new church, and to be honest, I had no idea if anyone would actually show up. After months of prayer and preparation, on September the 10th, 1995, the new United Methodist Church in Fayette County, which later was named Providence, was born. Because we had to set up and break down for church each week, four setup teams were formed. Each Saturday morning, different groups would be responsible for driving the truck to Braylon and unloading, and then staying after on Sundays to break everything down and load it back on the truck. It was quite a task each weekend, but it gave everyone a job in the church. By the end of 1995, we were averaging 170 in worship, and on Sunday, January the 11th, 1996, Providence United Methodist Church was chartered as an official congregation of the North Georgia Conference. By this time, we had several adult Sunday school classes as well as activities for our children and youth. Our music program, which included adult and children choirs, was well established also. People would stop me on Sundays after worship and say, you know, Jimmy, I think we are really going to be a church. And I would smile and say, yes, we are a church. By the winter of 1997, we had purchased over 100 acres, less than two miles from Braylon Elementary. And by that fall, we were breaking ground on our first facility. We decided to build a multi-purpose facility where we could worship, host up to 400 people for a sit-down dinner, or play a basketball game, all in the same space. The facility would also have education space, and one day, be the little gym in the back. 
As the land was cleared and the steel came out of the ground, our vision soon became a reality. This new facility would allow us to keep focused on reaching families and at the same time give us a place for worship. It was exactly what we needed. After three years of unloading and loading our church truck, we now had our own space. At this point in our history, we had two worship services and our realm of influence was growing. We began reaching more and more families, sharing a message of help and hope. January 2002, we began our third worship service, a contemporary service designed to reach another group of people. God continued to bless us and more and more lives were being changed. Today, 2005, Providence is a church family who is concerned with connecting people to God and to each other. The connections at Providence run deep and wide. Because of Providence, many, many people have connected and reconnected to God through a relationship with Jesus Christ. And many, many people have made lifelong connections with friends they'll share the rest of their lives with. Yes, Providence is a place of connections. Forget that? How could I forget that this is our 10th anniversary? Honey, I know it's Providence's 10th anniversary. I wanted to know if you remembered to cut the grass. 